You asked, and now it's finally here. Appalachian Wireless now offers unlimited data on the best network in the region. See store for complete details, better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. For several decades, the city of Williamson has paid Appalachian Electric Power seven grand a month for its street lights. Whether the lights are burning or not, that's the bill. The city has almost 800 street lights. After inheriting over a $100,000 delinquent AEP bill, Williamson Mayor Charlie Hatfield started taking a closer look at the street lights the city had to offer. Living and being here in the city, I see a lot of lights that weren't burning. I saw lights that were burning 24-7. They were defective. A lot of them are the old mercury vapor lights. AEP, with the help of the city of Williamson, is now trying to reconfigure the city's street lights. If we can reduce the number 70, 80, maybe more street lights down, we'll save a couple thousand dollars a month. However, reducing the street lights throughout Williamson does not mean the city will be darker. In fact, it will be brighter. We're looking at these lights. The ones that need to be replaced are being replaced with new sodium lights. For an example, some of them are 100 watt that need to be a 200 watt. With the upgrade to a sodium light, they're much brighter, so we're, we're able to take away some lights. Some of the areas in Williamson have a light every 50 feet, and it's just not needed. When you're putting a new light in, it's a 200 watt that has twice the lumens that the other two lights had. Officials say the street lights had not been inspected in decades, and revamping the fixtures will save the city over $25,000 a year. We're not trying to put people in the dark. We're not trying to take your street lights away. We're just trying to be more cost efficient here and, and upgrade the system. And hopefully when we're finished, we'll have better lighting than we had before. The project is expected to be completed by mid-December. In Williamson, Shelby Porter, EKB News.